Simple tips and tricks part four. So the first one is uh, pretty easy. If you ever want to uh, spin down your, um, you know, your hard drive, uh, go to the power management here, and whatever is idle, I believe, it will just spin it down and save, uh, you know, energy. That's all you gotta check, and um, that's it. You hit close. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, the next one is pretty cool, I guess. If you use Totem uh, and you open a video. Let me open one here. Uh, so I have Castle here, okay. And I'm just gonna pause it. But what you can do in here is you have this edit, and you go to Create Screenshot uh, Gallery. Uh, you can actually let me see uncheck this one and tell it how many um, you know thumbnails or you know, screenshots that you want to take. Let's say I want 20 and how big do I want it let's say uh, 300 pixels each okay uh, let's save this to the desktop and it's just gonna save it so we have the file here and basically you have you know a screenshot gallery of the whole uh, thing it's just a different timestamp okay so pretty cool if you ever need to use that it's already built into totem uh, so let me delete that one. So that's another one. Um, oh yeah, for this one it's gonna be for Nautilus, the your default GNOME file manager. So if you ever want to access it uh, really quick, okay, you can actually press uh, Control L and it'll open your home folder like this. So you give you this open location. Uh, Control L and then just push Enter and then you in your home. Okay. Uh, another one is. Um, you use the slash because it's backslash or something or forward slash I think it's the backslash thing oh no maybe forward slash I mean forward slash and then you push enter and you, you access your root here okay so that's another way to get there another way is just push uh, alt and home uh, and then you have your uh, you know your home uh, folder here uh, since we're in here there's another thing you can do within your Nautilus okay um, it's kinda like the filter option you have in Dolphin but this one is kind of too old school the one in Dolphin is actually superior in this but this is how you do it in Nautilus you press um, let's say I want to search for just uh, you know the um, .mp4s only only those files how do you do that basically you hit uh, control S okay and they give you this option of patterns and they give you a few examples here so basically you understood that you know what to do but uh, we just say we want to search for mp4s and then you push star dot mp4s hit ok and you see it highlights all the mp4s only right so that's what you can do for the filtering option um, so that's it for the Nautilus portion the last thing I want to talk about is just the hotkeys that I have set up okay so open up your keyboard shortcuts you can actually make your own custom ones if you didn't know that already uh, but um, what you can do is what I have by uh, you know what I've added in here so if you don't want to use like um, fusion icon or this is other program called this was that displex or something basically it's just to toggle you know your Meta City or your uh, Compiz or your Emerald. You can actually just make a high key and not waste resource having those shit on your indicators. Okay. So I have like three of them here. Right, I have uh, the Metacity. And you can see just type in the command Metacity dash dash replace really quick there. Same thing for the Emerald and same thing for the Compiz. Okay. And then you just assign a hotkey to it, whatever you want. And whenever you need to toggle it, just hit the hotkey. And you know you don't need another program to do that. You can just do it from here, the shortcuts. Uh, the other one is, um, hopefully you know this one, okay? But it's X kill. Basically, X kill is the force quit, okay? Uh, I'll give you an example of that if you don't know it already. But let's say I open uh, G edit. <coughs> And if I wanted to uh, kill this one, let me turn up my comp is here. But if you ever want to kill this one, let me use my high key, control alt K here, 
and you see this little X thing hit that sucker and it's gone okay that's how that's done now I have this other one is for it's the same thing as X kill but it's for wine okay and this is called a wine server K but this one's a little bit different it kills all the wine apps uh, that you have open whether it's full screen or not it doesn't matter it'll kill all of it so that's what I have for there use that if you use wine um, other things I have in here let me give you an example oh yeah the gnome uh, system monitor I use the hotkey uh, control escape um, because I want it to be like the KDE one control escape is actually better than control out delete people if you you know use the, the windows control out delete usually that's what people put it as but I don't like that one uh, control escape is what I like and that's what I use for the system monitor okay so that's all you gotta type in the GNOME system monitor uh, here as for your uh, command that's it uh, other things you want to probably do is you have the GNOME search tool I'm, I'm not sure if a lot of people use this but you can use it to search let me give you an example um, I, I usually have it dash dash hidden because I like the, the you know to search uh, hidden files also but I'll show you how that works. Let me bust out this hotkey here. And let's say I want to use uh, whatever folder you want to search in. Let's say I want to search in my uh, videos and I search for castle. You can see that, you know, this is how you would search for it. And then you can play it, whatever. So that's another one that I have. Uh, if you don't have catfish, then you can use that one because it's, you know, it's already in your default uh, GNOME system. Okay, that's the one for. No search tool. Uh, next one is um, is a wallpaper changer uh, hotkey that I I have set up. This one is pretty long, so I'm gonna paste this in your um, the description somewhere. But uh, basically, it uh, changes wallpapers uh, from my wallpaper folder. Okay, because um, it's more convenient to use a hotkey than going to you know your um, thing in here and then you change it or like you don't want to waste uh, you know memory having like a wallpaper changer uh, applet or something like that uh, you can actually just make your own uh, command here right and uh, basically it'll just change it whenever you push the icon uh, your hotkey I mean and in here all you gotta really change is the folder that you're using okay so my folder is in my fo uh, my uh, pictures wallpapers so if I was gonna look in this pictures wallpapers this is where all my wallpapers are at so wherever you keep your wallpapers at you just change that portion everything else is the same here alright so that's it for that part um, use any of this if you like or use none of it, it doesn't matter to me but uh, there you go those are some things that I use uh, on a daily basis okay that's all for this one